everybody, this is Garbinia Muguruza and I'm going to take you back to 2017 when I won my singles title and all the memories that I still have in my mind. So I remember when I arrived to London that I had a very big team that year and I had to rent two houses in Wimbledon to accommodate everyone. And, um, and we had a, a very nice time uh, on that year, uh, Conchita Martinez, which is now my coach, was there and um, we had a lot of fun, we had a lot of talks and we <laughs> made some fun dinners, some disasters too, but we had a lot of fun in the kitchen. My coach Conchita, she's uh, very funny on the court and I remember we shared so many memories of her title actually when she won long time ago. No, I'm joking. And so we share like what did she fa failed at that time, what am I feeling and um, how to prepare because she knows you know exactly what uh, what you have to do and uh, she can be some sometimes a little bit superstitious so she wanted me to to practice in a specific course specific time and uh, not changing the routine since everything was working well and so yeah i think it was a it was a funny anecdote so i remember uh, on the road to the final that i had uh, tough matches uh, in particular um, I think it was fourth round against Kerber, which at that time she was the uh, world number one. And it was a very interesting match because we always have um, tough matches and, uh, you know, grass court is such an unpredictable surface that um, I had a very nice match. I won and that helped me to, to gain the confidence um, for the next matches and eventually for the final. So the day before the final is a very tricky day. It's very special because you know the next day you're playing the Wimbledon final, which is something so hard to achieve. And um, I've been there um, in 2015 um, when I lost to Serena. And uh, when I saw that I was playing her sister Venus, I think it was um, like a sign of like, okay, I'm, I'm back in the final and now I'm play playing the sister. And um, I think it's a great final to play against the William uh, sister. So I was very looking forward. Of course, I was very nervous. Um, you, you can't be calm, um, but uh, at the same time very excited and uh, yeah, talking with my team and just uh, trying to make it as easy as possible. So during the match point, it was um, a weird point, it was a weird call, a whole guy that I wasn't sure and so I was like, okay, I think the ball is out and so I, I asked the umpire for the for the Hawkeye and then um, the ball was out and that, like I couldn't breathe for like two minutes because it, you know you you won you made it it's like oh my god I, I did it after you know two years where I lost in the final and back and this time I managed to win and it was a weird point so that was also tricky because you know you always dream to to finish it with an incredible shot with a winner but that that was the way I was supposed to win and um, and then it was an incredible feeling. I had to, I had to take a few moments to, to, be, to believe it and to see my team and to talk about it and to make it real because at that time, on the court with all the people, you are like dreaming a little bit, you know, with all the crowd, like, um, with the applause and the excitement and um, afterwards, like a few hours to, to really be conscious about what I just did. It was an incredible moment when I, I went to the balcony to say hi to everyone and there was so many people there waiting um, and it was a tradition and I've seen it in photos and videos before but you have to win it to, to be able to enjoy that moment and so it was incredible, it was incredible but um, not only that moment but the crowd, they, they love uh, tennis, they're so respectful and they're, they're very excited actually for the, the player that wins and um, yeah, I felt a big love with the fans there. A year that I will never forget, that forever is going to be very special to me. And I hope you liked it. Bye.